I'm here today with Doris LeCount and Diane Stevens, and they are from the St. John Lutheran Church. And we're going to talk about the longest night church service. So Diane, tell me what the service is about. This service is a community service, and it is geared towards people that are not quite so happy at Christmas time. Many people have lost a loved one, or they're going through medical problems or other issues in their life, and they're just not so happy, and just all the holiday cheer just makes things worse. Right. So this is uh, something that our church can offer people to come to, a place where they can be free to let their burdens relax. It is a nice contemplated service. The, the lights are dim in the sanctuary. There is lots of great music and readings and just the hope of Jesus Christ. And there is hope at the end of the tunnel for people. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned a little bit that it was started. Be- Tell me a little bit more about the service and how it differs and and sort of caters to that population of people that you're trying to serve? Well, I think it's contemplative. The music is um, generally quieter. It's Mm. slower. And the music is carefully chosen for the lyrics they contain to bring comfort and solace to people. As Diane mentioned, the church sanctuary is uh, dimly lit Mm -hmm. and uh, it allows people to be real with their own feelings Mm -hmm. and that if tears are part of their experience, no one is embarrassed by that. But the service itself is a combination of meditative readings that are read by our committee of planners and music that matches their solos. We have instrumental accompaniment that is piano, cello, Diane's on guitar, and it's soothing. And though some may describe it as somber, I think there is very much the joy piece mixed in. What I took away of you're trying to accomplish sort of giving people peace Mm -hmm. and hope and connection during this time when it can be really tough for people. Diane, do you have to be a member of the St. John's Lutheran Church to participate? Absolutely not. This is open to all people. And in fact, many people who don't really go to church or are not so, um, they don't know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. This is a great thing for them to come to. There is uh, nothing that is required of them. Mm -hmm. We're not going to make them stand up and come down to an altar call, or we're not going to be asking them for money Mm -hmm. or anything else or putting um, pressure on them to become members. This is for them. It's it's a time that they can contemplate uh, their own life and what's going on. They will hear the message of Jesus Christ, and there will be an opportunity for them to participate if they wish. We have a table and an altar that's filled with votive candles. Oh, yeah. And we ask people if they wish to come up to light a candle. The significance of that is letting their burden go. Mm -hmm. And then we will have a place where if people would like to have prayer with a person, Mm. we'll have some of our um, congregational members available so they can uh, talk and pray with people that wish to do that. Obviously, Longest Night, we're talking about Solstice Time. Mm -hmm. So uh, this year, when is that happening? The service is on December 21st at St. John Lutheran. It starts at 7 o'clock p.m. at night. Okay. Okay. And and Diane, where is it located? It's located at 11005 Northeast Highway 99. In Vancouver, Washington, the zip code is 98686. Very good. And it looks like if you want to look up more information about the Longest Night Service or other Christmas-related services for St. John Lutheran Mm -hmm. Church, you can go to Mm -hmm. 
Christmasservices.com. Yes, there will be other Christmas services that have a a different type of feel to it. There'll be a December 24th uh, contemporary Christmas service at 4 o'clock and a traditional Christmas service at 7 o'clock. And then on Christmas Day, December 25th, there will be a morning service at 9.30. Great. Well, Doris and Diane, thank you so much for coming in and sharing about this event and just for putting this out there for the community. I think it's something that um, is very much needed amongst the community. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for having us.